Welcome to a special edition of the Algorithm Institute of Battle Rap's Allies and Enemies. Tonight, we're taking a closer look at a story that has sent shockwaves through the hip-hop world. The disturbing allegations against Puff Daddy, a man who has long been considered a powerful ally in the battle rap community. For years, Puff Daddy's influence has been felt throughout the battle rap scene through the infamous Diddy Rule. Originating from the Making the Band Freestyle Battles in 2002, this rule dictates that if a rapper stumbles or mispronounces a word during their performance, their round immediately ends, passing the opportunity to their opponent. This emphasis on flawless delivery was officially adopted by the Fight Club in 2006, marking a significant shift in judging criteria within battle rap competitions. This approach, along with his headline-grabbing $10,000 offer during the T-Rex and Verb battle, solidified Puff Daddy's influence in the battle rap community. In the unsettling lawsuit brought against Sean Puffy Combs by Cassandra Ventura, known as Cassie, the allegations range from psychological manipulation to endangerment, including a threatening incident involving rapper Kid Cudi. Ventura's claims detail a deeply troubling pattern of behavior by Combs, encompassing sexual exploitation and acts of intimidation. The origins of Cassie and Puffy's relationship trace back to 2005, a pivotal year when the then 19-year-old Cassie signed with Bad Boy Records, a label founded by Puffy. Their initial connection was professional, with Cassie first stepping into the limelight as the spokesmodel for Puffy's fashion label, Sean John. Despite their growing public appearances together, they both initially denied being a couple. This denial kept the public guessing about the nature of their relationship, even as rumors of a budding romance began to surface, fueled by Cassie's prominent role in Puffy's business ventures. By 2007, Cassie was firmly in the spotlight, both as a model for Sean John and a rising star under the Bad Boy Records label. This period marked the start of their public association as they began to make appearances together at various events. However, it wasn't until 2012, following Puffy's on and off relationship with Kim Porter, which lasted until 2009, that Cassie and Puffy's relationship became more conspicuous. Their public acknowledgement of their relationship was underscored by their appearance together at high-profile events like Kanye West's Paris Fashion Week show, which confirmed their romantic involvement to the public. The allegations state that Puffy coerced Ventura into participating in sexual activities with multiple male sex workers, creating a controlling and voyeuristic environment. These events, labeled as freak-offs by Puffy, were said to involve Ventura wearing specific costumes and took place across various locations, including Puffy's homes and high-end hotels. The suit also disturbingly notes that Puffy maintained recordings of these encounters, exerting a continuous hold over Ventura. Adding to the gravity of these allegations is an incident involving rapper Kid Cudi. The lawsuit states that in February 2012, Puffy, in a fit of jealousy over Ventura's relationship with Kid Cudi, threatened to blow up Cudi's car while ensuring that he was at home with friends. Not long after this threat, Kid Cudi's car indeed exploded in his driveway, an event that now casts a shadow of suspicion in light of Ventura's allegations. Amid these startling accusations, Ventura's lawyers have come forward with claims that Puffy attempted to silence her through bribery. According to Doug Wigdor, Ventura's attorney, Puffy offered Ventura eight figures to prevent the filing of the lawsuit and to keep quiet about the alleged abuse and sex trafficking. Ventura rejected these offers, choosing instead to voice the experiences of women who suffer in silence. Wigdor praises Ventura's bravery in the face of these alleged attempts at suppression. In contrast, Puffy's defense, led by attorney Ben Braffman, counters these allegations with a narrative of extortion. Braffman, known for representing Harvey Weinstein, argues that Ventura demanded $30 million from Puffy under the threat of publishing a damaging book about their relationship a demand they describe as blatant blackmail. Braffman's response indicates a strategy of refuting the allegations and framing Ventura's lawsuit as a baseless and malicious attempt to tarnish Puffy's reputation. Cassie filed the federal lawsuit against Diddy on November 16, 2023. However, just one day after the filing, on November 17, the two parties announced they had reached an undisclosed settlement. But both Cassie and Diddy released statements saying they had decided to resolve this matter amicably.
Despite the swift settlement with Cassie, Diddy continued to face a string of other lawsuits in 2023 from former employees, nannies, and others alleging wrongful termination, sexual harassment, and assault. In early 2024, it was reported that Diddy was facing a potential cash crisis due to mounting legal fees and the decline of his media ventures like Revolt TV after stepping down amid the allegations. While Diddy swiftly settled with Cassie to avoid a prolonged legal battle, the fallout from her explosive allegations appeared to deal a major blow to his reputation, relationships, and businesses in the following months. The raid on his homes in March 2024 by federal agents from Homeland Security Investigations was likely linked to the numerous lawsuits and claims of sexual abuse, trafficking, and other misconduct made against him over the past year. While Diddy swiftly settled with Cassie to avoid a prolonged legal battle, the fallout from her explosive allegations appeared to deal a major blow to his reputation, relationships, and businesses in the following months. Regardless of the legal outcome, the once untouchable image of Diddy as a hip-hop mogul, cultural icon, and an ally of battle rap has been severely tarnished, and the long-term impact on his career and legacy remains to be seen. Can he survive this? Thank you for tapping into Allies and Enemies. The Diddy Rule. The Diddy Rule. Don't joke or else that's it for you. The Diddy Rule. The Diddy Rule. Take her and then take him too. Take that, take that. The Diddy Rule. The Diddy Rule. Take off your robe. You know what to do, just follow the Diddy Rule. The Diddy Rule. Cat Williams told us, Mark Curry told us, Wendy Williams tried to tell us, and we said she was jealous. Hey, it's the Algorithm Institute where the stories are told from the battle rap culture speaking facts that we know. It's the Algorithm Institute. Go like and subscribe if you dig in the content that we provide. If you listen to us, you ain't hearing no lies. We better than the mother bloggers all combined. It's the Algorithm Institute of Battle Rap. Tap in and subscribe so we can keep cooking. It's the Algorithm Institute of Battle Rap. Each subscription is a vote for more quality content, more epic stories, and a stronger community.